So in the process of tuning, ran into some transmission overheating problems. So notice this block prevents the flow, constant flow, the transmission fluid. So what I'm gonna do is take it off completely, this whole setup, including this fitting, taking this off, putting the cooler on, extra cooler, braided steel lines. That's gonna go on there. So I'm gonna put the fittings on now. I already took them off, so I'm gonna go underneath. So I have this fitting right here. I'm gonna take that off. So that one's off, it just screws off. Just like that. This side is a push lock with a snap lock. The other side is threaded. Focus it, okay. And now I'm putting the AM fitting in. One minute, I'm gonna put it in. So this is basically what I'm doing. Set up the braided steel line connections. This is an 8 HP 70 I'm doing this on. So basically taking off the factory lines with that block. There's a block you can purchase that increases the flow, but that's 190. And this setup with an extra cooler was about 165. So not only is it cheaper, you get a cooler with it. So now I have the AN braided steel lines in place. I mean uh, fittings in place. So um, basically I'm gonna put the remaining fittings on and uh, run the hoses, tighten everything up with the ratchet socket and be good to go. All right, now I have the 90 degree fittings going on. This is gonna just set everything up so I can put the hose on, run it to the front and connect it to the cooler. So I'm gonna add that, it doesn't take long. Just need all the parts to work together, so I'm gonna get a wrench to tighten this up. But that's basically the setup right now that I'm gonna run and just hook the hoses to this and run it to the front to the cooler. So now I'm gonna put the braided steel hoses on once I tighten it with a wrench. All right, so everything's tightened up right here, so I'm gonna go on and just connect the braided steel lines. All right, so I got the braided steel lines hooked up, connected, tight, right here. That's basically what I did. I turned it into a 90 degree so I could run it to the front where the cooler is going to be located. And that's the setup I'm going to run for this particular HP70. So I prefer braided steel anyway. It's flexible, you know, a lot easier to maneuver when you're taking a trans in and out. So uh, hopefully this stops the overheating issue. I'm about to find out now. I'm gonna start it up, let it run, and uh, see where my transmission temperatures are once I tighten everything in the front with the cooler. All right, so basically this is how it's gonna look once everything is connected. I'm gonna put it right here in the front, in the grill. I'm gonna run it, I'm gonna take the bumper off, run it through the front, and install it right here in the grill area gonna be it. It's a two-row cooler, the Rally. I bought about eight of these. I like them. You know, they really help keep the transmissions cool. So, this is what I go with. So now I'm gonna start it up and uh, see what my transmission temperatures are. Yeah, so I just started it. There's no leaks. Now I'm about to start it. Just let it run for about, uh, Five, ten minutes and see what it does. So I'm gonna start it up now. Check these trans temperatures. See exactly where it's at. It's at 59, so I'm gonna sit back and uh just wait. 
wait and see where the trans temp goes to. Car is camped. HRT stage two. Comp cam. See, it is loping. You know, I was in the process of tuning it, and uh, that's when I ran across the problem with the transmission overheat because of the stall converter. Let's put it in here. It's a much different rate. Just have to let it run. See if this solves the problem. I'll be back. Just gonna let it run for a while. We had six minutes, so just let it run and see what happens. But in the process of that, let me just go out and uh, take this exhaust out.